First drought, then too much rain. That is what's believed to be causing a dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico that could be the size of New Jersey, according to forecasts. Here is the Gulf Coast from Alabama through Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas, where the average dead zone is approximately 6,000 square miles. However, this year we will see it grow to about 8,500 square miles, which is about the size of New Jersey. Now, during the drought, farmers use nitrates and other chemicals to sustain agriculture. Then we saw the heavy spring rains lead to runoff into the rivers, which of course dump into the Gulf of Mexico. So what is a dead zone? Basically, it's a lack of oxygen, not enough to sustain life. You get too much nitrogen and phosphorus that leads to giant algae blooms. It's located in the bottom water, so that zone is basically invisible. Animals, especially bottom dwellers like worms and clams, would die and affect fish that feed off them, which would be quite devastating to the fishing industry along the coast, especially shrimp fishermen. So the bottom line is to be more aggressive in dealing with pollution coming from agriculture to keep that oxygen flowing even underwater.